Give me a second, is uh, surviving 24 others in a police hub by Antonio Diaz. Like. The link to the video will be the description below. Go in segments. So let's into this fucking beat to one. Today, I'm going to be spending the next 24 hours outside surviving in this blizzard. My goal is to go all the way back there, build a shelter, the make a fire, make some food, and survive for a whole 24 hours. As soon as I step foot beyond this fireplace, I can't go back. Right now it's 10 degrees and I'm freezing. Before I step foot wow. past the fireplace, I'm going to give myself only 5 minutes to grab whatever I need. This challenge is going to be crazy, so make sure you guys like and subscribe. Alright, 5 minutes start now. <gasps> Oh no! <laughs> I almost forgot you guys. First things first, I need to grab a bag so I can put everything in it. I need this bag. Mics, knife, glasses. I'm gonna grab a change of clothes just in case, you know, something might happen. Yeah. Oh, uh, what else do I need? Thermal. And then some extra pants. Uh, honestly, I'm just gonna throw these on. A beanie to keep me warm. Oh my god, look at that. Wow, it's like this is already prepared. Now, I want to try to cook some eggs out there. So, I'm going to grab some eggs. I'm going to need a film, so you know, we got to bring this tripod. Look at how big this is. How is this fitting in my bag? You know what, we're going to move new, new place for the mic. How do, how do we like it? How do we like it? I know we have an axe somewhere. What are you doing in my shot, dude? I got some throwing knives. <gasps> Let's go. I found the axes. Excuse me, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to move you over here. I'm gonna need this when it comes time to cook. There's no way this fits. I just found the craziest strap. I can attach it to this on my backpack. Oh. Almost forgot the most crucial thing for this video. I'm bringing like a whole stack with me. It's the last time I'll be seeing you for a while. Goodbye, Pi. It instantly just got 10 times colder. Guys, I can't believe I'm doing this, like for real. I'm about to just enter into all the way over here. This is the fireplace and I'm about to cross it. There's no going back. Goodbye house. I'll be back, um, I don't know when, in the next 24 hours. Right now it's 10 o'clock and I'm hoping to make it till 10 till the next morning. So basically a full 24 hours. First things first, I need to find some sort of home base. <laughs> Oh no! Like I was saying, first things first, I need to find some sort of home base where I can make a fire. I don't know if I'm tripping or if I'm actually already hearing weird noises, but it's getting wild already. Wow, look at this, guys. It's like a little, like, lake. Cause I brought gloves and everything. I need to put those on because I am freezing. <laughs> oh my god. You know, I said I need to find shelter. And I see something kind of weird in front of me right now. It looks like there's like a little sort of like base or like camp set up right here. I'm not um, sure what it is, but I did not set this up. And before that, what? no one has lived in my house. Someone please tell me what this is. Hey, what, what is he? <sighs> so I don't know if I already said this, but the snow's kind of dying down a bit. I'm actually really lightheaded and I haven't eaten anything all day. But I think this might be what I call home for today. I'm gonna try to. Oh, ow! Oh my God! There's snow dropping on me. Oh, there's yeah. snow on my neck. Ah, oh, oh. I think I'm gonna call this home for today, and I'm gonna try to touch it up a little bit. But I don't know how I'm gonna get a fire going because all of the wood here is a little bit wet. But I guess I'll try to make like some sort of teepee or something. But that's another reason why I brought paper with me. I really need to get this fire going because I'm not trying to get hypothermia. Let's just. <clears throat> <laughs> the challenge is officially on. Let's yeah. See how long I last. Everyone, call me your predictions right now because I sure know how long I lasted, and only I know. Unless you just don't watch the video and you skip to the end and see how long I last. Because I know how long I last, but do you know how long I last? You know, at this point, I was just thinking to myself, how am I going to survive off of only two protein bars and two eggs? But, you know, then I just stopped thinking.
It was really dumb of me not to eat before this challenge. Like, I'm going into this challenge with a complete empty stomach, and all I brought was two protein bars and some eggs. And to be honest, I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to cook the eggs. I didn't think I couldn't make the eggs. I knew I couldn't make the eggs. Look at all the snow around me. How am I gonna make a fire, bro? What? I'm really hungry, so I'm gonna like try to make this fire as quick as possible. I've never yeah. started a fire by myself, <laughs> so this is this is a new really? experience. I do have some cardboard right here Literally. and some paper, so hopefully that'll help get things going a little bit quicker. I'm gonna try to make it like literally right here in the middle. I'm already feeling a little bit hungry, so that's why this fire is gonna be crucial. If I had to survive in the wild by myself, i will probably be dead. Look at me just like trying to build a fire with wet wood and I, I just have no clue what I'm doing. And I'm just struggling. <laughs> please, please, like, help me, bro. Please. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so I know this is not a lot of wood or anything, but I'm going to see if I could just get something going right now. I thought this was going to be way easier. Yeah. As I struggled to light the paper on fire, I realized I was doomed. The only thing that would keep me alive is fire. What will happen next on Antonio Dez? Keep watching and subscribe and like and subscribe right now. This isn't gonna work, bro. This is not gonna work. Now I need to get a fire started and to do that, I need some dry pine. I really probably shouldn't do this, but I'm insanely hungry, so. I'm just gonna eat the second protein bar. I'm really, really eating, eating my last, my protein, last protein, bar. protein bar. This, this is, is potentially, potentially the last thing, thing I can eat all day, bro. bro. We better get we better that fire working. working. The wood that I found wasn't dry, but it's like wigs, so like twigs should catch easier. It's starting to snow again, like starting to snow a little bit heavier. We're gonna try this again. We have some paper, but first I wanna get this like, I wanna get this all nestled within. Do I know what I'm doing? No. Does it look like I know what I'm doing? No. We're gonna try this again with some paper. Oh no. Guys. I got snow in the lighter. No. I have to try to dry this because there's snow in it. And just like, just that, like that, chances, chances of survival, of survival cut, cut in half. half. Yeah. I'm gonna have to keep this away for a while. I'm gonna have to zip up my bag. Keep it tucked away because it's not lighting. And I think I'm gonna use this time to focus on building my shelter. Well, hopefully that dries off in the yeah. next couple of hours. I'm starting to get wet. I don't know if you guys could tell, but I'm like actually wet and I'm very cold. My boots are soaked and so are the bottom of my pants and I'm freezing right now. I can't get this fire going, so I might as well build some sort of shelter to keep me warm. Building this reminded me about the one lesson that Fortnite taught me. Just because you're in the storm doesn't mean the game's over. Just because yeah. I don't have a fire or a fort doesn't mean I'm gonna die out here alone. Because yeah. they, no, I probably am. I fight that. I need food, guys. I'm hungry. I'm gonna try to put like all the wood on top of this. A little bit of like fort area right here, so there's kind of like a roof. That makes sense. I'm gonna need somewhere to stay tonight, and this is probably the closest I'm gonna get to warmth. Education is important, but Fortnite is important. The devil whispered in my ear, "You can't outrun the storm." I replied, "I got bounce pads." Wanna get I don't always play video games, but when I do, it's Fortnite. Fun that. So this is what we kind of have going on right now. From here, I'm going to try to cover the whole thing right here so it's covered from that side all the way over here. So we have a little bit of shelter. We've been out here for a couple hours, so all we really got to do is build this shelter and try to stay warm. And hopefully we avoid some hypothermia and frostbite. Life is like a box of chocolates. Uh, well, how does it go? Life is like a... Uh, oh! Ah! Life is like a chocolate box. You give and you get, but you never give. Is that? I don't think that's how it goes. Okay. Whew, we're making progress. I know you guys probably can't see me through all these like sticks right here, but we've made progress. We have a roof. We have a roof. 
Isn't that crazy? I do probably need to reinforce it with some more sticks. We literally have a roof. I'm gonna give you guys an MTV mm. Cribs tour, guys. So welcome to my house. You got the front door right here. Boom, living room, kitchen, bedroom, dining room. Every room is right here located inside of the house. It is a little crammed in here, but you know, it's better than nothing. The walls do let a little air through, but at least I have walls. This is the worst house. This is literally the worst house. I'm starting to lose daylight. Yeah. I've been collecting wood and like going all the way around here, like even all the way back there. I've been collecting wood and putting it on top of there. So there's more of an actual roof. So I'm gonna go in there and see how it actually is now. Oh. Okay, it genuinely is warmer in here. Guys, I'm soaked. I'm soaking wet right now. In the camera, I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be able to last, guys. Especially without a fire, I don't know what to do. I only have those two eggs left as food. And I'm freezing. My feet are soaked. My pants are soaked. Everything's just wet right now, and it's kind of annoying. But I think I'm gonna chill in here for a little bit and kind of yeah. avoid the wetness, because I think the snow is turning into, like, kind of slush, like rain. But I think it's supposed to pick back up in a little bit. It's just getting more and more wet out. The rain is starting to rain even more. Like, I don't know if you guys can see, but this is a puffer, and it's absorbing the water. My cheeks are a little red. My gloves are wet. Don't even have gloves on right now. I had to get out of the shelter because water's just seeping through the top. As of right now, I think I'm just gonna see how long I can last. We have about 18 hours, I think. 18 hours left. My camera's getting so I have one more battery. Just one more. So I'm not gonna try to pick up the camera as much, and I'm just gonna let the time go by. My camera's messed up. I think my camera is freezing from the inside. I don't know if you guys can see on the screen, but like it's blurry in the middle. And I think it's just so cold that it's starting to freeze from the inside. I have my bag on because I wanted to go exploring. I don't know if you guys could tell, but it's definitely gotten darker. I don't even have gloves on at this point because the gloves got so wet that my hands were just freezing. So I just wow, man. It's getting really dark really fast. I don't know if you guys can really tell, but it's getting dark. I'm not gonna lie, I've been limiting myself to not go beyond this like wall, like this archway, because I don't want to get lost. And I don't know if I told you guys, last time I was back here, I found like some sort of animal skull. And I have no clue what animal what? it was. It looked like maybe like a fox or something, but that means that there's a something fox. bigger out here. A couple nights ago, I heard a pack of coyotes just like, like, I don't even... Guys, I swear I see f I'm gonna go this way. Because I swear I see eyes in that hole. I do not want to be over here. Oh my god, and there's, fuck. I'm tripping, I'm tripping, I'm tripping. I don't want to be back here, guys. I'm tweaking, dude, this is so scary. I was literally just talking about coyotes. Ah, uh, and my camera's messed up, dude. Guys, I really hope that's not like a coyote den. I was gonna go beyond that wall, but no, we're not doing it. That just killed like my whole entire mood. I was gonna try to start the fire and see if the lighter works. Let's be realistic, it's raining right now. The snow turned into like a rain. I don't think there's any way I'm getting a fire started. My camera's so messed up right now. Guys, I'm like so cold and I'm starving. I don't yeah. know what to do. I really wanted to explore back there, but I'm not risking getting attacked by an animal. Oh, I think I might have to head back, bro. I swear, it, it's like a little den, like right there. I don't even think I should be this close. So let's just take a look at what we accomplished. This is what I built, and I honestly think it's pretty nice. I could probably do better. I'm still tweaking right now. I, I wanna leave, I'm, I'm leaving. It's kind of funny because that is the, like very close to the spot where I found the animal skull. I 100% think well, that that is a coyote den, and I think I'm trying to tell myself that it's not, so I'm not as scared. The woods is so dense over here. It's kind of scary, like I could get lost out here. And the crazy thing is, no one's home, no one knows that I'm doing this video, so if I just went missing, that could be the end of me. I'm calling it quits. I'm so hungry, I have no food, I can't even cook the eggs. Oh, 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 I didn't know this was ice. This is water, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, I'm so cold. Oh, I think I'm gonna get frostbite if I don't go in right now. Oh my god, I just walked into that big ass puddle. Why is <laughs> I failed the challenge. I failed the challenge, I'm going in. Oh, I failed. I failed. I failed. Oh my god. Oh, 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 my pants. I literally can't feel my feet right now. Look at my sock. Oh, what the f Why was that there, bro? Oh my god. <sighs> I can't get my boot off. Ah! My feet are so red. These are, that is disgusting how wet these are. My boots, 
literally dripping water, bro. I'm gonna consider this challenge a fail. The outdoor is one, Antonio zero, bro. If you guys enjoyed a video like this, let me know if I should do another one like this in the future. But I'm about to turn on some Harry Potter and make some hot cocoa. And I'm about to enjoy the rest of my day. If you guys wanna enjoy the rest of your day, go watch some of my other videos. I think it was about six hours total. I hope I don't get frostbite or hypothermia. Peace. <laughs> that was so well in 24 others in the police show by Antonio Diaz. The link to the video will be the description below. Go and check them out and drop a like if you like. And comment down below if, if you want to see more reactions like this one. And subscribe if you, if you are new. And click the button to be notified of below. And what? Bye. <laughs>